Hi everyone, my name's Bill and welcome to my channel. Before we get started, please consider subscribing to my channel and possibly becoming a Patreon. Um, I had a chat with um, the person from Radio Master and we were discussing something and it came up about the bootloader for OpenTX. Now, I hadn't been updating my bootloader and apparently with every release of the new firmware for OpenTX, included in there is a bootloader. So what I wanted to do is just do a quick video to show you how to upload the bootloader of your radio. Uh, it's very simple to do. You're going to use the same file that you use to update your OpenTX to the latest version. And then you'll be able to uh, update your bootloader. So let's switch over to my ReadyMaster TX16S um, and we will, I will show you how to do this. It is the same for any OpenTX radio. Now let's take a look at the TX16S. We're going to hit our system button. And we are now going to go across to the right to the SD card. Go to, to the firmware, click enter. And there you can see I've got my multi-protocol module firmware and my latest OpenTX. Now you move down to the OpenTX one. Instead of just a short press, you do a long press. Now you'll see this option come up. Flash bootloader, copy, rename or delete. So we are going to just push enter on bootloader. And you'll see it's writing. And the job should be done. Now to be able to check if that has been successful, if we go across, I would have thought you would have been able to see it in here, but I can't see where it says bootloader. So to, if you really want to check it's, it's done the job, what you need to do is turn off your radio. Okay, there may be another way to do this. And then put your radio into bootloader by pushing the trims both inwards while putting the power on. And there you can see bootloader 2.3.14. That's the latest one. So you can see we've successfully uh, updated the bootloader and we can come back out and just push exit. Welcome to OpenTX. Disarm motors, flight mode normal. And there we go, job's done. Well, I hope you found that video useful. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section below because I'd love to hear from you for anything I can help you with. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye for now.